astronomers have spotted the farthest star ever seen. The star, named Icarus, is 9 billion light years away from Earth, and it may help us discover secrets about dark matter. The light from Icarus has been traveling for 9 billion years to reach our home planet. To put into perspective just how long that is, our universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old. Icarus is a blue supergiant. At least, it was. Researchers believe that Icarus no longer exists because blue supergiant stars do not have lifespans of 9 billion years. It has either collapsed into a black hole or ended up as a neutron star. This means that when we are viewing Icarus' starlight after 9 billion years, it means we are looking back in time to the early age of the universe to see an object that no longer exists. From what we can tell, it was about a million times brighter than our sun, but its glow is too faint to be detected even with the world's largest telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope was able to spot Icarus because of an astronomical phenomenon called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing is the consequence of mass bending spacetime and therefore bending the light traveling through that spacetime. A gravitational lens is created when a massive object falls in between the observer and a more distant target in the background. The gravity of such massive bodies bends and amplifies rays of light, acting as a natural lens in space. The light can be extremely magnified, allowing faint and distant objects to be bright enough to be seen. The light from Icarus was magnified by a massive galaxy cluster. This galaxy cluster is 5 billion light years away from Earth and sits between Earth and Icarus. The light of Icarus was magnified by about 2,000 times due to this galaxy cluster's effect on its surrounding spacetime. The discovery of Icarus through gravitational lensing gave astronomers a new tool that can be used to study individual stars in distant galaxies. These observations will provide a detailed look on how stars evolve. Scientists also used Icarus to test a theory of dark matter. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that is estimated to make up 27% of our universe. One theory of dark matter suggests that it is made of black holes, but Icarus' view does not support this theory. If the black hole dark matter theory was correct, the star would have appeared brighter, but Icarus' brightness did not vary over time. This was confirmed by looking back at a decade of Hubble images. If astrophysicists keep looking deep enough, they should be able to learn about some of the universe's first stars. This is not the first time that researchers have used gravitational lensing to spot a distant object. Researchers also used gravitational lensing to observe a galaxy 13.3 billion light years away from Earth. This is just 500 million years after the Big Bang and is the farthest galaxy ever captured. NASA is planning to launch Hubble's successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is much more powerful. Webb's unprecedented sensitivity to infrared light will help astronomers to find many more stars like Icarus in the future. It will help astronomers study how galaxies are formed over billions of years and potentially even help astronomers find galaxies and planets capable of supporting human life.